Welcome to Inside Science TV. New research is helping police departments look at crime data and forecast where and when future crimes may occur. The process starts basically with looking at the data, looking at the crime data. And we try to see if there are patterns in the data, um, ways of being able to predict what might happen next rather than just pure random chance. The data mathematically resembles patterns in nature, such as the occurrence of earthquakes and aftershocks. Their model can predict a window of time and a location for future criminal activity. And we can take what's known from those areas of science and now apply those ideas to these new problems studying crime patterns. One thing we discovered is that very small changes to our model could lead to two different kinds of hotspots. Supercritical hotspots are generated by small spikes in crime and subcritical hotspots by large spikes in crime. The supercritical hotspots formed by small fluctuations, when the police come into those, they really just sort of spread to neighboring areas. They don't go away. The subcritical hotspots, on the other hand, since they require a large spike in crime, when the police can suppress them down, it's unlikely that you'll get another very large spike in crime in the immediate future, and so you can successfully suppress those. So if the police were able to determine in advance what type of hotspot it was, they might be able to tailor their response more appropriately. Math and science helping to keep your neighborhood safe. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Two new science stories every week. Powered by the American Institute of Physics.